So right now we have an error code, check engine light, and after pulling the codes we found out that it's an oxygen sensor and it's telling us that it's sensor 2, bank 2. So on this model, which is a Toyota, that is the front after the cat. So basically got our nice little special O2 sensor wrench. You just slide it on. We're getting a trouble code P0037, bank one, sensor two. And that one is located underneath. I'll pop this little panel loose. You'll be able to see right here. It goes right back here. That's where the pigtail is. We'll undo this, push it through this grommet. The new one comes with a new grommet. So we'll be able to, might be easier to pull it out that way. We'll do it that way. To release it, you're gonna find the pigtail, push the little clip button, it pops right out. Now we'll go underneath, undo it from the exhaust. So you can see right there, that's where the grommet is that we took out from the inside, and there's the oxygen sensor. Go ahead and pull it out. We don't really care about twisting the wire right now because we're going to take that one out. So now we're just going to undo this clip. This little guy. Done. Pull the oxygen sensor out. So we're gonna compare before we get it up there. Old one to the new one. Sensor, pigtail, sensor. Take the little black, I mean the little plastic cap off. Looks pretty close. Got a Toyota, and this one is Denso. Highly recommend Denso, especially for these Japanese makes. So installation is just do it in reverse. We're going to install it back into the bung. This time we're not plugging in the pigtail until after we tighten it in. Use your same special oxygen sensor tool. Get it nice and snug. Now we're just going to feed this back through. Now we're just going to clip back in. There's, not able to see it, but there's a little teeny bracket that slides back on. Put a zip tie on there just to secure it. So it doesn't come with a clip and the other one is covered in grease. Grab the sensor the hole, put it in and now we'll just screw it down and then we'll tighten it with the wrench. But little tip here, don't twist these wires like crazy. That's why we left the pigtail unclipped on top. So now I got the new O2 sensor in there. All we gotta do is put this down off the lift, reset the code and hopefully your problem goes away. We're gonna plug our scanner into the OBD2 port. We're gonna read the codes, and hopefully it should be the same code that we were already trying to fix, which it is, bank two, sensor two. So we're gonna go back, and we're gonna erase these codes and cross our fingers. That that actually is the problem, and it goes away. So, it's all been cleared. Now we gotta do is test drive it, and hopefully everything's fixed. <laughs> 